Today's episode is brought to you by CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers. Research your next holiday cruise using the link in the description below. Hey cruisers, I know it's a cliche, but the holidays seem to come earlier and earlier every year. October 1st, true story. I walk into TJ Maxx and they've already got two aisles of Christmas decorations out. It's crazy, but there it is. And all that means is we're probably way too late getting this video out. We'll just pretend we're getting a head start on next year. Okay, so if things go according to plan, we will be cruising over Thanksgiving this year. This won't be our first holiday cruise. We've done it a number of times before and it occurred to us that there are a few tips we could pass along that may help you if you're considering a holiday cruise of your own. You know how some videos save the most important thing to the end just to keep you watching longer? It's a shrewd tactic, but we're not going to do that to you today. So. Here it is. The most important thing you should know is that you're likely to spend a bit more money on a cruise during the holidays, maybe a lot more money. Christmas and New Year's cruises are typically the most expensive of the year. The kids are off and lots of families see this as a great time for a vacation. Now the cruise lines know this, so there's typically no reason to reduce fares. Our standard tip about booking your cruise early applies here, but beyond that, you'll want to watch Cruise Line websites and newsletters for flash sales. It happens, but real deals around the holidays are kind of scarce. So check and see if your Cruise Line offers an air and sea package. Airfare during the holidays is notoriously pricey. Finding a package deal may save you some scratch, but barring that, book those flights early. If you wait until the last minute, it's gonna cost you. Since this is a popular time for families to vacation, the next thing you should know is it tends to feel more crowded around the ship. Lines seem longer, kids clubs are brimming with youngsters, and popular spots around the ship may feel more like a busy shopping mall than a serene ocean getaway. Now this scenario can be good or bad depending on your cruising preferences, but if rambunctious crowds are not your jam, it may be best to wait until after the holidays or consider cruising between holidays. Early November and early December are good examples of times when prices are actually lower and crowds thin out a bit, but you kind of get the benefits of a holiday cruise. If you want to show your festive spirit by decorating your cabin, that is not a problem. Be sensible about what you pack though, and remember that cruise lines have a policy prohibiting open flame and other potential fire hazards, so no candles or similar flamey items. A small string of battery-operated lights and things like cards or paper decorations can be a good start. Your cabin door may be a good place to hang a paper wreath or other holiday art. Just be sure to check your cruise line's policy on this stuff because some of them no longer allow door decorations. Channeling your inner Santa could pose a problem with airport and ship security. You'll want to leave any gifts that you pack unwrapped. Pack a few gift bags, ribbons, and the like and handle the festive packaging once you're on board. Alternatively, you could shop, shipboard, or in port, but expect to pay a little bit more. If you've watched any of our previous videos, you may have heard us sing the praises of the ship's newsletter. It's always a wealth of information, a source of seemingly limitless activities, and even a good place to track down deals. Well, this goes double when cruising the holidays, as ship's newsletters are jam-packed with holiday-themed activities. There will likely be special performances by the ship's staff, tree lighting ceremonies, cooking demos, craft making, pajama parties, gingerbread decorating parties, and even a visit from Santa for the kidlets. If the holidays don't seem complete without a little gridiron action, you've got nothing to fear. Football fans will not be disappointed on most cruise lines. Most ships these days abound with giant, flat screen TVs and lively sports bars. If you wanna get the most out of your holiday cruise, the newsletter will be your best friend. Okay, so that's our five things to know, but in the spirit of giving, we have a holiday bonus for you. Always check your cruise line's alcohol policy first, but most will allow at least one bottle of wine or champagne per adult in your carry-on. 
So ring in the new year with a bottle of bubbly without breaking the bank. Before we sign off today, we'd love to hear if you have been on a holiday cruise. And if so, what was the experience like? And how did your ship make the holiday special for you? That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Oh, and don't forget to pack your ugly holiday sweater.